Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Z, and today we are here with a brand new series. Yes, we are playing SSHIP Stainless Steel Historical Improvement Mod version 0.98. As Venice. This is the mod that all you guys voted for with 51% of the vote over Empire 2 and Shogun 2. Darth mod as well as Venice coming in with 37% of the vote over Aragon with 23, Castile with 21 and Pisa with 19%. It is my first proper foray into the mod. Of course, I have done some playing myself, but that's why we're going to play on hard hard. And of course, we are playing the most serene Republic of Venice, guys. The most serene. Not just serene, the most serene Republic of Dennis. So, uh, Dennis? Republic of Venice, guys. Now, if you do enjoy this series, guys, a like and a subscribe would be massively appreciated if you are new to the channel. And of course, with all these premieres, the second episode of this campaign will be coming out literally right after the end of this video. So if you want to binge watch, it is there for you as well. But let's get going, guys. We're playing on hard, hard, and let's read this. All the timestamps down in the description down below in the video so you will be able to skip this if you want to but we're going to go through this anyway i love a bit of history the city of canals is a reminder that starting from a great defensive position is an ideal foundation upon which to build an empire with the city itself perched on the on the rialto island and the venetian lagoon serving as a massive moat for the city venice is a natural fortress Although the Venetians do not boast a noteworthy land army, they are the leading seafarers of the time. This gives them the ability to confidently defend their capital from direct attack, as well as establish trade routes more readily than most any other major power. A century, century earlier, the Venetians were plagued by Dalmatian pirates who preyed upon the merchants that plied their lucrative sea trade throughout the Adriatic. Through clever diplomacy, Pietro Orsiolo, Doge of the Venetian Republic, was able to isolate the marauding pirate slavs in into a small manageable groups that he then forced to surrender. This opened the door for Venice to evolve from an isolated trading city into a European power in its own right. With their ability to dominate trade and traverse the Mediterranean, so long as the Venetians diligently protect their island city, they will always remain a force to be reckoned with. Yes! That is right, guys. We are going to be a force to be reckoned with. Hopefully, we shall see. <laughs> Let's get into the actual gameplay. So here we have the generic screen that we get every time we start a campaign in this mod. It is meant to be a difficult mod. Little money, aggressive AI factions, high unrest in the settlements, problems with the loyalty of generals, bad reputation if expanding too quickly, and many other special challenges for the player. Now, we are going to be reading a lot of these screens, guys. So, of course, you can skip them if you want to, if you've seen this mod many times before. But for me and for many new players, I think it's always good to give them a little read just to see what's going on. So we are on campaign difficulty hard. Some parameters in the game will be harsher for the player than normal or easy. The AI generals and agents get a moderate boost to their traits. There are also some additional gameplay mechanics introduced at this difficulty. In particular, the army morale. Money is likely to be very tight and you may find expansion difficult. So there we go. We will read through the pop-up menus as well. And we are not going to play with attacking only with general scripts. I, uh, that's one of my least favorite things about the modern Total Wars. So you can be certain that I am definitely not going to play it with an old Total War. <laughs> Absolutely not. But here we are as Venice. We have Doa Pietro who is uncrowned. So let's have a look at our land that we need to get crowned. And... We either need pretty much all of Italy, or we need quite a lot of land down here, don't we? We need to take Ancona, and is this uh, Bologna as well? Ancona and Bologna, as well as Ragusa. This area here too, so basically all down the coast. Thessalonica, down... not Thessalonica, sorry. Um... I can't remember exactly. Corinthos, I think it's called. We've got Crete as well and Cyprus too, which we do actually have a merchant on. How much are you earning? 334. Let's have a look at wine. 
Uh, do we have... Can we get that resource? No. I don't think we can actually see any of the other resources. But that's fine. So to get crowned, we need all of this land, which is our main priority. Now, I do want to kind of take some of these northern cities as well, because they're very rich. Um, like Milan, for example, is very rich. So we might, we may take them anyway, just to get a little bit of extra cash and more ability as well. But of course, we want to get crowned as quick as possible. That's going to be very difficult with the crowning requirements for us, of course. Now, we start here with Venice, obviously. A very, very good city. We start with a port with a shipwreck and a warehouse. Market, in school, library, explorer's guild. Oh, let's have a look at the explorer's guild. Don't think I've actually seen that one uh, for a little while. But yeah, some really, really little good... Uh, good things over here. The Bas Basilica de San Marco 2, which is great. So we've got a lot of things in Venice itself. We start with a couple of armies. We have Bengi Vad Vendramin. That's an interesting name. And we also have Consigliere Dominico, which is the heir elect. We've also got Do Pietro, which is our chief magistrate right now. Now, of course, guys, all of you experienced guys, if you let me know any tips and tricks down in the comments down below, that would be absolutely amazing. That would be fantastic for me uh, to get me going and improve some of my gameplay in this mod. Because as I say, I've not played a huge amount of this mod. I've played a little bit, but not a huge amount. So there's a few things that we want to do. Let's get our spy out. Let's have a look around. We've got a few cities over here. So we've got Bologna there. We've also got Verona there and we've got Milan over this way. We've got Ancona down there, I believe. Let's have a look. There's Milan. There's Verona and there's Bologna. Now, Bologna is pretty much the most undefended region, I've got to say. And I've found in this mod, it's a little bit better to leave a few troops in a city like these urban spear militia. They are not uh, using any upkeep right now, I believe. I believe that graying out means they're not using upkeep. Yes. We've also got this army, which is pretty good. It got some mailed knights, some cavalry militia, some sword mailed knights, some spearmen, some spear militia, hunters, and levy crossbowmen. What do they have? They've got mercenary spearmen, just pretty much all spearmen in there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take three units out into consignly... Con consignly... <laughs> I can't say it, guys. <laughs> this is almost as bad as me with the Greek names in RAS, but uh, not quite as bad. And I think we're going to go straight for Bologna. Now, the problem being, Ragusa here does very much tend to be attacked right away by the Serbians over here in the north. So to take it back, we need to attack the Serbians. So I am considering, after we've taken potentially uh, Bologna and Ancona, because those are our crowned lands. It normally takes Pisa a bit of time to get going. We can maybe sail on down and see what we want to do. For now, though, Bengi over here. Could he potentially take Ragusa with a bit of a mercenary army? What do they have? Vlak Axman, 3, 3, and 9. That's actually not too bad in this mod. That's not awful. So let's have a look at what's available. We've got mercenary spearmen, hunters, a lot of knights. And I don't think we want to spend all our money on something like that for now. So we could go and join up. But yeah, I don't I don't exactly know. Let's get our ship along the coast. We've got Zara here. Okay, I think we could go for Zara if we get a few troops. And that is one uh, area that we do need. So let's go for that. Let's also get the Frankish Knights. 6,000 gold, though, for those troops. Is that worth it? Probably not. But let's do it anyway. And that's actually reduced our movement. I should have jumped on the ship there, shouldn't I? That was a little bit of a silly move. But anyway, let's go for the defenses here. We're going to get a, a mix of siege equipment. I think that's going to be best for us. And we don't have much money, but I was going to build a small church anyway just to get a bit of extra law we could also go for the public gallows but i think for now we're going to ignore that and we're going to go for the small church in there with our cardinal do we really need the cardinal it's 90 percent catholic here uh we'll keep the catholic in here because it's only 85 percent catholic and with our princess what i want to do is go and talk 
to the Holy Roman Empire. They've got a little bit of land up here just to talk to them, get some diplomatic relations going. Where is my diplomat then? We've got a lot of guys. We've got this guy. Oh, he's in Albania. Wow. Have we got another diplomat? I swear we start with another one, do we? No. We also want to check all our merchants on this first turn too. But let's talk to the Byzantines for now and try to get trade with them. They will they will attack us at some point. But uh, let's see whether we can do a bit of scamming. Whether it still works in this mod or not, I don't know. Let's see. Just rejected. Okay, no problem. Let's then go and talk to the Serbs then up here in the north. We want good relations with them, of course. And uh, do we have enough money to train some more troops? I think we do. I think we're going to take... I mean, the upkeep on the mailed knights is rather large, but I do want to take them. We'll also take a levy crossbowman too. So that is all we want to take first turn. So let's press the end turn, guys, and let's see where we get to. Ah, yes. I completely forgot about the fact that when you're sieging somewhere down, you get a lot of costs. <laughs> But anyway, that's fine. We'll make that money back with the sacking of this city. Now, we don't really want to sack many cities, but the first one's probably going to be okay. So, let's have a look at the Rise of the Knights. The Warriors of AD 1000 enjoyed no hereditary status, but had an important and growing role as horsemen. What distinguished them was their possession of good horses and their skill in using them. In the two following centuries, these horse soldiers slowly transformed into elite warriors. By 1200, many were considered noblemen or the next best thing. The units of knights are available to be recruited from the landowners' buildings. Consider the following issues and consequences. The building is available in both castles and cities, meaning that you'll have heavy units even when you're short of castles. Establishing the building is quite fast as it reflects granting land to the knights and the process of their settling down, not building something physical. The refill of the recruitment pools of knights units is very slow, but they are recruitable in one turn. This means that you can keep units unrecruited until there's a pressing need. Be economical with your knights in battles though, as the losses do count in many instances. You'll have to wait a long time for the refill of the pools, and there might be another battle need for the heavy troops. Many faction-specific buildings add to the refill of the recruitment pools. This is not visible in the description of the buildings, but will manifest in the numbers. So, Vilnius Castle for Lithuania, White Tower for England, all that sort of thing. If you really like knights, building a landowner's building would provide you with one additional unit ready to be recruited instantly. Mind that the knights units are very expensive in upkeep yet. Yeah. I think we've gathered that. Attention, Actung! You are playing... No, we're not playing at the very hard. We're playing on normal. Okay. When money would just disappear after your turn in an unexpected way, this will be listed in the panel, but only a back-looking way after the turn has passed. Yeah, of course. Um, so that is because we are sieging down... We've got a new thing to take Zara. So, yeah, of course, we're going to attack Zara here. Whether we can actually take this settlement is going to be a different question because we don't really have much infantry, do we? I mean, we would have been able to get more infantry if I hadn't been an idiot on turn one. <laughs> Our mercenaries need payment. Yes, they do. They do. So we need to get, get uh, into here as well. We've got the office granter for Do Pietro. He's got the Doge of Venice and the Keeper of the Privy Seal. For now, we're going to keep them with the Do until we get someone else that we want to give them to. So for now, that's fine. Let's do that. Let's get into this battle though, guys. But before we do that, let's go and talk to a few different people. Uh, we'll keep the spy here. Actually, no, we'll go and have a look for Ancona. There's Ancona. That's fine. We'll keep an eye up here, though, just to see Pisa and see whether they start coming round. We'll go talk to the Holy Roman Empire. Uh, could we go for a marriage here? We'll also get them to enter diplomacy, which would be quite good. And our diplomat, where is the Serbians? Are you the Serbians? No, you're a rebel settlement, actually. You are a rebel, yeah. Where be the Serbians? They're around here somewhere, guys. I promise. <laughs> I promise. Right, let's get into this battle then. We've got some pretty darn good troops. It's going to be a relatively difficult battle, I feel like, because, of course, it is a siege battle. Their general has a 76 men. I wonder what unit that is. Let's have a look. 
He is male foot knights. Okay, that's interesting. He's not got a cavalry unit, but that's fine. Let's get into the battle, guys. Let's see what we can do against the brutal siege, um, the brutal towers of Medieval 2 Total War. So here we go, guys, and we're going to try and use our spear militia as kind of bait for both the towers and the archers at the start. Whether that's a good idea or not, I'm not 100% certain, but uh, yeah, let's group them all together so we know that they're in the right place. We've got you guys together. We've got the archers together. That's fine then. Uh, these guys are on the siege tower. Potentially, I do want you to get over there on the siege tower. So let's do that. And while we're there, we'll get the urban spear militia to get up here and here. And this guy over this Actually, potentially around that corner there. And what we'll do is we'll split you. So you go there. And the spear knight, the uh, sergeant spearmen, we're going to get them over this way. Uh, you can actually go for the gates. That's going to be very painful for you, though. I'm hoping they don't overload this side. That's my plan at the moment. We shall see whether that works indeed. But let's start. Let's see what we have in front of us. We've got spearmen. That's fine. What is this here? This is this is going to be the scary thing. Mercenary spearmen. Well, I think our knights can beat them, and they're not going to get actually uh, killed too much by archers over this side. So we've got urban spear militia here. We've got levy crossbowmen and urban spear militia there. Right, go for the gates, my friend, and we'll get on, try and get our knights in when we go. And these guys can come over this way. And what we'll do is try and get our uh, couple of archers... In fact, we'll try and get our... Let's just pause for a second. I want to see the stats on these guys. Their missile attack is 2. Their missile attack is 6. So, yeah, we'll try and get the levy crossbowmen around this way. So, let's go. Um, we're going to take a little bit of damage to start with. You guys get up here to try and put some pain down on them. We're also trying to get the sergeant spearmen across here, too. They can walk for now. Here we go. We're already at the walls with some of these guys. Very nice. Now, mainly these urban spear militia are here just to bait them, really, and take the fire from the towers. Doesn't look like they've lost too many men, though. These guys are getting shot now, though. That's a little bit not quite as good as I was expecting. But you guys get up there. And we're going to try and get these guys through this way. We're also going to try and get the, uh, the sergeant spearmen up here. I don't think these towers are firing right now. No, I don't believe so. I don't believe so. I don't believe so, guys, which is good for us. So let's come over this way. These guys are going to take a little bit of fire, but I think they'll do a good job. The uh, spear militia, let's get up. We are fighting the normal spearmen there. And we'll use our, our knights, once we're in, to go and attack their, uh, their dismounted knights, which is their general. We may even be able to just go and take the city while we're here. These guys are not taking any shots anymore, which is excellent. These guys are firing. Good. Fantastic. Keep firing, guys. Get up there. Looks like they're trying to adjust where they're going, which is fine for us. So let's get up there and attack those urban spear militia. This may put that tower into action, though. That's the only thing that's slightly annoying. But here we go, boys. Here we go. Let's get up. Our siege tower is in place. I do love the sieges in this game. They are something else. I don't think they've ever got the sieges to be quite as good in any Total War game since, in my opinion. Especially Empire and Napoleon. God damn it. No way. <laughs> Were the sieges any good? I mean, there's a good argument for Attila sieges, right? A lot of people seem to like them. But yeah, Shogun. That's that's the one big thing that about Shogun that kind of ruins it uh, for me is when you just get... All those sieges of just terrible, whatever, like, terrible, 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 um, like, town things, whatever they are. I don't even know what to call them. You guys get up there. Let's go. Pressing space bar. Yeah, get up there. That'll be good. Get going. They're getting shot by something. What are you doing, man? Why is half of you running that way? Why are half of you running that way? <laughs> oh, well, that's fine. We're going to accept that for now. And here come the boys. Let's go, the knights. Uh, ideally, you know, losing a few of these knights would not be a terrible thing because I know we're not going to be able to replenish them for a while. But we do have that extra unit in Venice. And I think they'll be they'll do a decent job of this right now. And destroying this ram has actually not been too bad. 
Uh, sorry, using that ram has not been too bad so far. Okay, here comes more of them. These guys are now jumping up to the walls. And we've also got these guys fighting. They should do a very good job against this mercenary spearman. I know the spearmen are a decent defensive unit, but our mailed knights, our sword mailed foot knights, should be very, very good against them. And once we're in there, we can go and join these guys against the spearmen and fight that urban spear militia too. So I'm just going to grind it out for a little bit, guys. We'll edit it down a little bit so you don't need to see all of these fights. But there we go. We've broken that unit already. That's fantastic. So we'll get these guys through to go and fight that urban spear militia if possible. These guys, you know, are not that useful. So for now, what we're going to do is we're going to try and get our general. Where is their general? Oh, they're over there. Let's try and get our general all the way into the city. Oh, we can't get them all the way through. So just stay there for now. What do we have here? We've got archers. Uh, these guys should be able to fire over that way. Got levy crossbowmen coming down too. So I want you to go kill them if you can. These guys are doing a good job. I said I was going to edit it, but it looks like everything seems to be happening at once. We are devastating that mercenary spearman with our knights. Very nice indeed. These guys are coming down. Uh, I think you can... Are you all up there? Let's halt then. Get firing, guys. Get firing. Go, go, go. Go fire, man. Fire. Fire. Are you going to fire? This is the problem with crossbows. They're so slow at firing. Come on, guys. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> they can't do it. They can't do it. <laughs> right. Get around here. We'll bring you guys. are actually firing now, which is good. So what do we have here? We've got the Urban Spear Militia. Let's get after that uh, mercenary. Sorry, the, the crossbowmen guys. These guys can just hold for now. What I'm thinking is... General, if we get you around this side and we get you all the way up here, you're not going to actually get shot along this way because no one's near the towers. Um, and then we'll probably try and use our sort of archer units. Okay, no, you're all there. You're all there apart from you to just shoot them to death for a little while. I know this is taking a while, guys, but we want to take as much time as possible. We've got some winded guys here. That's fine. And what we're going to do is we're going to pop our soldiers into there, get going. Uh, you guys are still fighting. And what I might do with this unit of 72 is just get them up there to fight and, you know, relieve the troops up here. Um, and you guys, let's keep going. I want you all the way around there if possible. Keep going, my friends. Keep going. Um, you guys, you should be running. That would be ideal. You should be there and running. That would be ideal, like I say. <laughs> oh, that's the one thing. That's the one thing about this game is just the, the old controls and the pathing. But, you know, it's the same with any old game. But it is, you know, so iconic and so goddamn good. I, I'm not going to lie. I've, I've played Divide and Conquer for a very long time on this game. And I still play it to this day. So hopefully this is another mod that I'm going to be playing for years to come. Uh, on here too. I don't know how you are fighting. Ah. Okay, cool. Right, you guys, let's get you there. Let's get you there. Let's go. And how are the knights doing? They're up here. Oh, we've got a bit far there, guys, I think. A little bit far, a little bit far. Just get there. So now, these guys should be firing. They're firing up most of them. But there we go. Killing the levy crossbowmen and the urban spear militia. So these guys are a little bit tired. That's not a problem. Who are you firing at, bro? Here we go. Have we got rid of them yet? Let's go. Let's go, guys. Go. Well, what I'm going to do is actually you guys come back. I know you're going to be a little bit tired. But that's fine. Let's speed this up now for a couple of seconds. Are they firing? You are firing. Well, you guys now get here. That should be good. There we go. Six times speed. Nice and quick. And I just want to shoot them to death pretty much. Might as well use our skirmishers while they're here. Can you halt now and fire? There we go. Halt, guys. Halt. Should be able to take out these crossbowmen pretty quickly. And also the urban spear militia. 
There we go. You guys have nearly used all of your stuff. Let's keep them on guard mode so they don't chase after the enemy. Same with you. If you can fire there, that'd be excellent. But there goes the levy crossbowman getting absolutely shredded. So I think it's time to get up here. We've got our male knights. I don't think we're going to use them for the time being. Let's just use our cavalry for the rest of this battle. The male foot knights, of course, are going to be a problem. But I think they might get engaged in the combat here. So we'll keep it on time six for now. Keep going, guys. Broken them straight away. So just get there. And let's get all our archers up this way. Get running, guys. Get running. And let's see whether we can, you know, try and get some of these guys off the town square. Got our cavalry right here. Halt. There we go. Uh... Oh, here we go. That's the spear militia. Let's get away from them. We don't want to. We don't want to have to fight spears. Definitely not. Here we go. Urban spear militia on the way. I think we'll be able to break them pretty quickly. Are you guys still firing? You don't seem like you're firing very well. I'm not going to lie. Get in there. Uh, you guys get there. You should be able to fire a bit better now. Now that these guys have moved out of the way. Right. You guys out of there. You don't need to be there anymore. Uh, do we want to get the, I mean, the knights to come around this way? So it's a long, long way. What, what are you doing, bros? What are you doing? Just chill out. Just chill out. You don't need to uh, be walking forward there. That's not the one. That's not the one, my friends. Right, guys. You guys. Let's fight the mailed knights. I know it's a bit of a pain to do this, guys, but we might as well. We might as well use all the ammo that we have. So I'll probably edit this bit out now. So here we go, guys. Their general's actually run from the town square. He's run all the way down here. So ideally, we just want to hold him off there. We've got our sergeant spearmen coming through. I did forget about those guys, definitely. So <laughs> don't comment down below that I forgot about them because I did. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to leave one of them here to block the way if the general comes back up this way. And then we're going to leave these guys to come through. We've pretty much killed all of these... Uh, urban spearmen so we've gone for a little bit of a charge just to hold them off for now and then what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna leave them in the fight for a second because these are swordsmen they're not spearmen of course just so that we can get these guys these uh, sergeant spearmen into place and we're probably just gonna run away now and hopefully we can just hold them off for a little bit so we're gonna stick it on times six speed there we go we now control the city, guys. Is there anyone else that's fighting here? Yeah, just a single urban spear militia. So there we go. And now here comes the general. All we need to do is hold it for two more minutes. So let's charge into the general. Only 28 men left of the general. So it shouldn't be too difficult. But two minutes, guys. Glorious victory. A good victory to start with. I know it's a very long battle, but these, this is the point of this mod, you know. It's getting into the gritty realism of it, isn't it? Fantastic. We, we made them rout anyway when we killed them. Glorious victory. We lost 366 and killed them all. Who did well? The Urban Spear Militia here are about equal. Yeah, the Spear Militia, they were the sacrificial lambs there, weren't they, my friends? So, uh, yeah, not too bad. Let's have a look at the Foot Knights killing 83 and losing 23. Glorious, glorious result, my friend. So I don't think we should exterminate. That's definitely not the option. But I think we're going to sack. I know it's not good for your reputation overall, guys. But we need to get positive in terms of the income. I don't think it's worth destroying any buildings as of now. We will get 4,000 more gold. Let's just have a quick look. Yeah, projected treasury total 251. But we are sieging down at Zara. What I really hope is that they will sally out. Now, whether they do or not is a completely different question. Where be the spy? Where's my spy gone? Where actually is he? He's could have sworn he's around. Oh, he's there. I don't think we've got enough to go after either of these, but I think Ancona was pretty undefended, wasn't it? So, I think we carry on down to Ancona. Let's pick up one of these units as well along the way. Uh, what we're going to do is leave two of the urban spear militia behind. Let's see how happy they are. Absolutely fine, in fact. That's 
good. We didn't also look at the taxes. I want to keep it growing, so 0% growth isn't good, but let's get up to very high for now in Bologna. A bit of war taxes, of course. So let's, uh, let's get these guys up to the border. I don't want to take the siege just yet because we don't have enough money really to do that. Um, so, yeah, I think we'll wait. No, we'll come into foreign land. It's going to cost us money to march, though. That's the problem, isn't it? That is a little bit of a problem. But that's okay. We should get another general soon. So I'm, I am holding out hope for that. But for now, let's end the turn there, guys. And let's see how much money we don't have next turn. Oh, fantastic. The Holy Roman Empire wants a trade rights. That's fantastic. I would like an alliance with these guys, ideally. Let's see. No, just rejected. They're probably not going to accept this then if we go for like 500 gold. But we might as well try. No, not interested at all. Well, here we go. A suitable prince to our princess. I think we've got to accept it because we definitely do want... Uh, an extra general right now. I know it's going to cost us money. Problem being here, you can see the Serbs, the Hungarians, sorry, they're going straight for Zara. I need to find the Serbs still, but yeah. Uh, so it's a good job we went for Zara to start with. So Diplomacy Guide, your reputation will determine how you are treated by others. It's the most important factor in your foreign policy. If you are considered very reliable, your allies will see you as a trusted ally, which means you will be not be attacked except some unlikely circumstances. There are many benefits if your reputation is high. Relations will be better, wars a little more rare, trading easier. Your reputation raises if you release prisoners, assist your allies in battle, take part in crusades and jihads. Especially if, it con if conquering the targets, build big cathedrals, mosques, and big charity centers as well. Your reputation decreases if you exterminate or sack cities. Yep, so we've done that already. Execute prisoners, backstab an ally, start the war first, or cancel treaties. If you're at war and relations fall below very poor, your enemy will not want peace at all. Yep. For Catholic factions, good relations with the Pope are essential. Fantastic. Impending debt. Oh, no, we've, we've just gone down. I, we were on 400 there, so, yeah. Very, very bad. To prevent this from happening, you may raise taxes, of course. Yep. Or strike profitable deals with other factions. Yeah, the most important point to remember is that your armies abroad create significant costs on the move at sea and while besieging. So we do need to take Zara straight away. Most of your cell swords will abandon you. Yep. Army supply costs. The supply system makes you pay for your armies. Staying in the enemy lands, traveling by boat, or besieging an enemy settlement. The amount of money depends on the traits and ancillaries of the relevant general. If you've got no specialized one like log uh, logistician, the costs may be very significant. Take note that these costs will not be shown in the financial panel. They will be automatically deducted from your treasury. So that is why we have been negative for very while. Do you wish to choose the family member who will be next heir to the factions? If you accept, the family tree will open. There you can choose an adult male family member and then press the zoom button to select the next heir. Choosing this feature will limit the impact of the character's traits on gameplay and many features in that regard will be missing. However, it will likely save your nerves as well. Um, okay, yeah, will result in the offer being repeated once more in the next turn. Let's just accept it, and this guy can be the heir. There we go. Fantastic. Done. <laughs> right, let's pop down to Ancona, and let's go for Ram. Siege Tower. Oh, let's just go for more ladders then rather than Siege Towers. Let's have a look at what they have. They've got some archers, some levies, and some axemen. This guy's got gold experience, though. So that's a little bit scary with his six attack. Hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Do we think we can beat that, though? Our levies haven't abandoned us fully yet. I mean, I feel like we can. It's got four turns until surrender. We definitely need to take this so we've got some money because, as you know, guys, we, we, we've not done a great amount with our money so far. Um, right, let's have a look with our spy at Verona and Milan. Yeah, they're both big garrisons right now. So, yeah, I think we just need to work our way through these cities for now. This general has received a gift of 2,000 florins from the ruler's treasury. Ah, okay. So we, we lost money because we paid 
for that marriage. Well, that's a darn bit annoying. I'm not going to lie, but he can at least come into here. Military minded. Religious marriage ties. Wife, uh, wife of a Venetian patrician. That's okay. No problems with that at all. So I think we need to go after Zara. Let's also move this guy around. Can we find the Serbs? Right. Well, what was that saying there? Oh, they're in Hungary now. This is all rebels. Are we looking more... I mean, this is more Bosnia right up here. But is it over there? Let's let's go and have a look. I mean, I do want to talk to Hungary as well. So we might as well come around this way. I mean, even if we just went like that, we can go and talk to Hungary too. Ships-wise, we were using you just to scout. So let's keep a eye on Ragusa because I do want to take Ragusa before... Oh, here we go. Here's the Serbs. So let's go talk to them and hope that they don't take Ragusa before us. So let's go for Zara then, guys. We've only got one ram, so there is a potential that we do lose this, which would be a bit of a nightmare. What is your general? 18 defense. That's rather, rather scary. But let's have a go at it anyway. Let's see. 5 to 7. Let's see whether we can do this, guys. So here we do. We do get to the walls, so that is good. This is all sort of the levies, but that is their uh, their general, I believe. Let's have a look at him. God, they look very nice, don't they? Look at those units. Absolutely beautiful. Oh god damn. That was that was that felt like a catapult shot. <laughs> but what we might do, what we might have to do in fact is destroy several places along the walls. Oh, they, they're coming out. They're coming out. I did not expect them to do that. These are just archers, so let's get out of there. Let's also try and get our our mercenary spearmen into the fight there then. Because I want to push them away from the ram. I want to take the ram up here and open up the walls here. I mean, if they're going to do that, why, why don't we just go and uh, charge the axemen? They should not be... Uh, a good unit at all in terms of uh, being charged. They, should, they shouldn't be able to take it very well. Let's fire at those guys for now. I know we're going to get fired at by the tower, but that's okay. Let's go for the cheeky old charge here then. Uh, let's group you guys together and ungroup you. Let's also grab you and rally. There we go. Let's go for the old charge, my guys. This should be a pretty brutal charge, I'm not going to lie. That should absolutely devastate them. Yeah, it's pretty much killed their whole unit there. 22 men now. Wow, that's that was a charge and a half. That's what we wanted to do. Why are we firing fire arrows? I don't think that's necessary, my guys. I do not think that's necessary at all. Is they Are they dead now? Eight men. Right, let's get out of here then. Let's just pop back over this way and let the spearmen do their work. Why are you still firing fire arrows, you fools? <laughs> It's not what we want. Well, what I want to do... Oh, they're bringing more Axemen out. I mean, if they keep doing this, I'm absolutely fine with that. That is no problem whatsoever. Let's keep our guys here. I know we should be in a wider formation to do that attacking, but that's okay. Let's just pop back with these guys in a second. Let's go. Get running, guys, and then we'll do the old charge on the Vlak Axemen. There we go. Well, we've taken out two units of these Axemen pretty darn quickly which is rather nice well we should do with this secondary charge again there we go and we're going to catch them in the flank too which is even better <laughs> so there we go bang straight in the side there that wasn't the greatest of charges i'm not gonna lie now you guys can charge them there and yeah cavalry in med 2 is powerful as ever as it is in rome all the old games cavalry is just okay looks like oh i thought we had a crash then that was that was a good save. I don't know how it didn't crash. It did freeze for a second, but... <laughs> God damn. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Turn around. That should be a great charge, this one. Definitely. There we go. Straight in the flank of them. Absolutely pummeled them. That's what we like to see, guys. They have run away from the town square now. So... Yeah, what do they have here? I mean, if these are just axemen, they do have some spearmen there, though. We could just literally charge through them. Like, I... Oh, they're, they're all dead. They're all dead, my friends. <laughs> right, so what we're going to do, we're going to get our 
get our knights down here. We're going to get our spearmen to come through this way. We're going to just walk them for now. And we're also going to get our archers around here too. And again, just walk them for now. Guys, just walk. We don't need to run. Don't waste our, waste our fatigue there at all. So come around this way and let's see if we can get them in the center. So they have some Balkan archers firing at us. So we are going to run our spearmen for a second to see if we can get rid of them. Because we don't want to uh, be taking shots from them for very much longer. You guys also get in position. The problem here is going to be fighting this general especially. What I might do is send some of the knights. So maybe... Maybe the Frankish Knights around this way. I'm going to send them around the back there. I'm going to see whether we can charge these guys in the flank and at the side at the same time. These guys are a little bit winded right now. But the Balkan Archers should not be a problem for them. You guys, there's only one people... <laughs> one person for you to fire at, ultimately. Oh, right in the face! There we go. Right in the face. Here we go. If we can, uh, If we can, you know charge these guys. I'm going to get these guys to run just a little bit. We're also going to get these guys up here ready to fight as well. So here come the Frankish Knights. Let's go, guys. I think this is our opportunity. As long as these guys hold, which victory seems certain, which is good. And we're also firing at the General, which, as we've seen, 18 defense. Pretty darn scary, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> so let's get this Knight ready to charge right in here they move around, that's fine. I'd rather them have a... I don't know. Would we rather a dense formation or not? Oh, here they come. Looks like they want to have a go if they think they're hard enough. And they do think they're hard enough, guys. Whoa, smoke. <laughs> Let's get some atmospheric effects on this bitch, guys. There we go. <laughs> Straight in there. You've got to hold them, Frankish Knights, for a second at least. And then, yeah, hold them for a second, guys, while we charge in the back. Come on, guys. I know you're slow. I know you're a bit slow. But let's go. Straight in their back. Let's go. Big charge. Big charge for the boys. I know it's hard to charge in the city streets, guys. But uh, I'm hoping you can do a little bit of damage at least. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Now, straight back out. And Frankish Knights, straight back out too. Cav is just so powerful in this mod, guys. <laughs> Not this mod. Just, I mean, this game, sorry, in general. Just an absolute beast. Absolute beast. This should be brutal. This should be absolutely brutal. There we go. Broke them straight away. So kill them all. Kill them all while we're here. And let's charge the general. There we go. The general's dead as well. Good, 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 good. Oof. Those arrows are probably killing our own men there. But for now, we'll keep them going. There we go, guys. There we go. Nine men left in the general's bodyguard here. Nine men. How many Slavic levies? Eight Slavic levies left. Wow, that should be... There we go. Three men. Come on. Come on, Cav. I know you can do it. I know you don't want to be in the fight for too long. But for now, it's fine. Kill this general. Here he is. Here he is. There he is. Kill him. Kill him, guys. Kill him. <laughs> Come on, I know he's hard. And he does think he's hard enough. But he's not quite hard enough to take us on. Come on. Let's kill him. Come on, guys. Kill the fool. There we, there we go. There we go. Right, let's kill the Balkan archers. They're wavering now. And then all we've got to do is kill a single Slav Levy. <laughs> they should break these guys pretty quickly. Bang. Done. Oh, fantastic. Well... I wasn't expecting it to be that easy, to be fair, but them sending their uh, axemen out of the city was rather nice. 73, that's all we lost. Glorious, guys, and that should give us enough money to sustain ourselves for now. <laughs> and we got a crash, guys. So, unfortunately, we did have a crash, guys. A fatal graphics error, apparently, which... I'm surprised by because I have a 470 Ti, but <laughs> anyway, we're going to automatically resolve this battle and hope. And apparently we lost less men. I feel a little bit cheap, but we did fight the battle and have a victory as well. Now, we are going to just occupy Zara, of course, because we don't want to sack any more settlements after what we've been doing. Apparently, we are going to make money next turn. That is the most important thing. 
by quite some way. Well, let's just have a look at our where we want to be again. So it looks like we've taken Zara there. So we need to take Ragusa. And then unfortunately, it looks like we need to take this off the Serbians, which is not ideal. But I think for now in Zara, we're going to chill out. We're going to repair the wooden palisade. We're also going to leave everything else for now. Uh, soldier training for Bendy Vadramin. He has served as a squire and gained basic understanding of military matters. He's also a promising commander. Nice. How old is he? He's 59, bro. I don't think he's going to be around for too much longer. Um, but yeah, we're not going to build anything else for now because I want to make sure we've got a couple of thousand in there. I'm also going to save to make sure it doesn't crash again. Uh, but yeah, let's end the turn there, guys. And I've done everything else the same in this turn. So we've put this general into here and we've done nothing else as well so let's end the turn there i don't think there was anything else was there moving oh there was uh, sieging this down that's <laughs> that's definitely something that we want to do <laughs> so let's go with that what do they have in here they do have some good troops there but i think we'll be okay and that will basically if we take ancona we'll have taken half ish nearly half of what we need to take our to be crowned but to get these bits i don't know what we need for cyprus but to get crete and corinthos we need to fight the byzantines guys which yeah i think we need a little bit more building up first don't we but let's keep an eye on over here just to make sure we're not losing our opportunities to take milan and verona as well but for now let's end the turn there guys and let's see what happens so the most pertinent advice I think we should have taken right at the start. <laughs> Always keep a few thousand florins in your treasury as a resort, as a reserve. Money may be needed in various unforeseen situations to hire mercenaries. When you're unexpectedly and suddenly attacked by rebels or another faction, you may be offered a marriage. You'll have the opportunity to adopt a new general, which will cost uh, a thousand. You may be offered a guild, which is two thousand or five thousand. An interactive event may occur. Pirates may threaten to attack you unless you pay them 5,000 florins. Some ancillaries can be acquired only if there is a significant surplus in your treasury. Or we have plague, which will cripple our economy. I mean, if we got plague in Venice, that definitely would cripple our economy. They want us to send a emissary here. Absolutely, we'll take that. Barely accepted. How about an alliance? No. Uh, you... Allied with the Romans, right. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Are you Orthodox, though? I think you are. Let me just check if we go to the old Pope screen. That's given us some extra cash, too, which is great. We also want to go and go back and talk to Hungary. Uh, I'm not bothered about talking to the Romans again. Uh, but, yeah, we've got... Oh, did they just give us an extra they gave us a triple silver levy crossbowman that's just, that's actually pretty good i'm not gonna lie <laughs> thank you for that pisa has pisa so we are bordering pisa now uh but yeah let's have a look at the pope i don't believe yeah the serbs are not on there because they're orthodox so we really shouldn't have a problem with the pope if we attack the Serbs. The Pope obviously loves the Papal State. <laughs> they love themselves. Uh, which is well, good uh, for them. And we do actually have a little bit of cash now. Which is good. Now let's have a look at our army here. Like how bad does it think this is going to be? A they've actually got more men. Spear militia. Mercenary spearmen. Normal spearmen. And a few archers. We do have better units in general. That's the one good thing. But assaulting those walls is going to be a bit of a nightmare. Five turns. Hmm. We are wasting money and, you know, resources by waiting another turn, though. So I think we do go for the attack there. I think that's the best thing that we can do. Um, and that would be a good thing to end on, wouldn't it, guys? One more attack on another settlement. We haven't had any... Oh, there we go. Captain Gyuk. We should have actually jumped on the ships again. I always forget about ships. Why do I forget about ships? They seem to be pretty darn important. Now, I am thinking about building either a church or 
an orphanage. Could get a blacksmith. I don't think that's worth it. I would like this port. How long does it take? Ten turns, though. Ten turns. But that's going to bring us a load of cash, isn't it? So let's have a look at the settlement details. Let's see what that would do. So if we go here, that would reduce population growth by a percent and increase it by one and a half because of health. And increase, yeah. And give us extra 50. So that's absolutely worth it. But leaving 1,600 in the coffers, is that worth it? That's the real question. Would it be more worth it, for example, got dispersed farming and logging camps? Would it be more worth it, for example, to build something in here, like the wells or potentially the grain exchange? Something like that in Zara. I don't think so, because Zara, 1,300. Venice is making 4,500. That's pretty darn good, my friends, isn't it? Jeez, that is very good. Right, let's also check all our agents. I didn't actually check my guys at the start. So we do have the guy on Cyprus, which is very helpful, because it shows us that Cyprus is owned. That was Cyprus, wasn't it? Yeah, that is owned by... Um, 1,000 florins he's making is owned by the Byzantines, of course, the Romans. And he's trading silk here, 1,900. I don't think you can trade anything more, my friend, that's worth it. Um, I could do with another diplomat, honestly, because I want to try and get an alliance with the Pope and potentially Pisa. But if Pisa attacks us, that would not be the end of the world, I don't think. Let's just have a quick look down over here to see Genoa. Okay, Genoa is not owned by anyone right now, but looks like a very strong garrison in Genoa. So ideally, we want to take these two just so we can like cook Pisa a little bit. Because once Pisa takes Genoa, they're going to be a very rich faction. So let's leave it for now, though, and let's get into an Kona. So let's go. I think we'll be okay here because we've got really good quality troops. But I do still think it's going to be rather, rather painful. So let's get into it. Consigliere. <laughs> <laughs> General Dominico, there we go. <laughs> so again, we're going to spread our troops out and try to, uh, you know, spread them out slightly. You guys get going. Uh, you guys see, look, on this side, we've got no one here. So that's excellent for us. Why can you not? Oh, the, you're the wrong people, apparently. There we go. Get up on the walls. There we go. So they have sent someone. They are sending someone to come and deal with us. But for now, that's fine. And then over here, what do we have? We've got mercenary spearmen. That's going to be very hard for our spearmen to deal with. But I think as long as we keep them busy everywhere else, I think we'll be okay. As long as we can break some of these units on this side with our good units over here, that's going to be fine. You guys get there as well. Where are my archers, etc.? So I've got you guys over here. And I think you want to get there to fire onto the enemy. And then we can get our, our knights inside the city. Because they do, again, have very, very few of the old um, uh, cavalry. I don't think they've got any cavalry again. So if we can use our cavalry, I think that's going to be fantastic. So let's get up there, guys. Get going. Get going. that will be excellent. And do they have anything that's worth being scared about? I mean, the mercenary spearmen are fine. We saw that in our own battle. The levy crossbowmen look like they're behind, though. So I don't. I think the AI's screwed up there. I don't think they have actually fired at us, which is excellent for us. Let's go. It is a beautiful mod, isn't it? And Med too. Let's have a look at these guys. Lovely looking units. I do love to see these boys all charging on the battlefield. So the urban spear militia are just chilling there. I'm guessing. Is that one unit? No, it's just a massive unit, isn't it? That's the thing. So once we're on here, we're going to get these guys straight on to go and attack the spearmen over this way and relieve our troops. These guys should be okay because they're only fighting hunters. These guys are going to struggle, but that's fine. Um, and then we'll try and get these hunters up here to fire down on the urban spear militia and potentially along at the hunters and spearmen on this wall. I don't think they're going to come up the walls, it looks like. 
So that's good for us. We are also destroying the walls, which is great. What do they have here in the center? Their spear militia and their mailed foot knights, which is their general. So we do still need to deal with a pretty darn good unit at some point. These guys need to get off and kill these mercenary spearmen. Only a fool could lose that battle apparently right now, which is not good for us. So, I mean, the mailed foot knights, you should be finding it very easy against them. These guys are really struggling. Really struggling. Can you not fire? Right, let's try and get the sergeant spearmen up here then. This is going to be a really tough one. Really tough. We need to open the gates ideally. Uh, so I want you to get up there, guys. Get up there. These guys should do well, but these guys I think are going to struggle. They're already down to 54 men. They are only fighting crossbowmen and levy spearmen, but mercenary spearmen. But again, it's going to be a difficult one. Right, you guys, let's get there. I, we need to flank those spearmen. And these guys are routing now, so we need to get them up the walls. You guys get around here. That would be excellent. And if I could also potentially bring this unit around this way too. I know they're going to get shot a little bit. That would be amazing. But they're still trying to fire at the ram there. We're opening the gates now. I don't think we can afford to bring our cavalry in just yet. Now they've kind of stabilized a little bit here. But they are going to struggle on that side. The mailed knights are now fighting the urban spear militia. So they're going to struggle a little bit more. But yeah, looks like this is going to be a tough one. A very tough one indeed. Looks like they're going... I don't know what's happening here. Well, we'll fight the hunters. Go, 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 guys. Go. Go. You guys get up there too. Come on. Come on, guys. Looks like they're coming off the walls. I don't know why, because that will allow my guys to, uh, to stand on the walls and fire at them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them there. And they should be able to just fire down at them too. You guys, I want you to pop up here if you can. That would be amazing. Please go. Quick, quick, quick. These guys are struggling. What I want to do is get you up there if possible. You spearmen. So we're using the mailed guys here. So Honestly, I just want to stand up on the walls and shoot. So mailed knights. Let's get after these guys. See if we can destroy them. I think these guys are going to, going to die. But they are holding out for quite some time. They are shaken though still. But as long as they hold them there for a while, that's fine. Well, you guys, go, go, go. Just get up on the walls, guys. Go, go, go. Can you go, please? There we go. They are going now. Good, good, good. Right, guys. Halt and fire. That would be excellent. Should be able to fire down there pretty nicely. Where are they firing, though? That's the question I've got. Uh, who are we fighting here? It looks like we're not fighting anyone right now. So, go through. Let's go. Go, 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 guys. Go. Doesn't look like we're fighting anyone, really. Here we go. Firing at the spearmen. Get going, guys. Get going. Um, How far is your range? Your range is insanely far. They can fire all the way there. So I wonder if we were, like, stood here. We'd be able to fire all the way up there. I don't know, but it would be amazing, wouldn't it? These guys are struggling now. So are those guys over there. But what are they doing, man? Why, why are you running out of the out of the city that's kind of weird but okay it's fine for now hunters still firing still firing and there's only really one or two ways into up the city so that's okay for us though i think we can get our knights in there let's go we've got no one else to use now so we have committed our all our troops we have fully committed to this but it looks like we are going to destroy these spear militias here Nice, guys. Nice. I like to see that. I do like to see that. These guys still able to fire? Now, where are they firing? Oh, they still are able to fire. Oh, look at that. We can see the arrows coming down. They're just a tiny bit out of the range there. Like, the tiniest little bit. Tiniest little bit. Oh, they can fire at anyone. So, just fire in the middle there, guys. Fantastic. Here we go with the knights. I mean, I wonder whether a, a juicy little charge straight down the middle would be good. Right at these guys. No, it's spearmen though. It's spearmen. It's spearmen. Let's get away then. Get away. And we'll go round the back. Uh, 
Go over there, guys, maybe? <laughs> Cities were not made, meant for cavalry, were they, my friends? They were not meant for cavalry. Right. These guys, let's get them down. Let's get them down. What are they doing, the idiots? Come on. Get over there. I know you don't want to path in here. I know you really don't want to path. I know it's not your favorite thing to do, but I think you should try and path a little bit better than what you're doing right now. So, I mean, I think the best thing is to do what we did previously, is get our troops nicely, nicely apportioned up here. They're all tired, though. That's the problem. I don't really care about this unit over here. They can die. They're just there to hold the men. So, you guys, let's get you all the way down there. Let's get you guys all the way down there. Should be able to path a little bit better now. Let's get you guys there. And are we still firing? We are. Yes, we're still firing into this blob here. So as long as we are still firing there, that's fine. It's not a problem. Right. Troops, guys. Troops, troops, troops. Right, we'll get you here. Ready to fight. Ready to fight. And I wonder whether we just engage them and then charge them in the back. That would probably be the option there. Come on, guys. Get going. I'm going to hold them for a little bit so that they don't become tired. Too tired. And we may have to send some people off to deal with these mercenary spearmen. Um, probably the sergeant spearmen, to be honest. So let's go and get the sergeant spearmen. They should be better than the mercenary spearmen. They can't fit in this little gap, apparently. <laughs> Come on. There we go. There we go. Now you can go there. That's fine. And we're just going to shoot them to death. Again, guys, we're just going to try and shoot them to death. Oh, here we go. The sword mailed knights have now come and decided to attack. So we've just got to try and deal with them, I guess. These guys, you can get back away from the city. You guys, not a city, is it? Uh, it's, a, it's a castle. You guys can get up there too. So let's go with that. It's going to be tough to beat these uh, sword mailed knights, especially on hard difficulty, but it should be okay. Um, and we're going to get these spearmen to just chill for a little bit. Uh, try to not lose too much fatigue uh, again. But what I might do is just try and get this cavalry militia to charge these guys right in the back. I know they're not going to have as good a charge as the mailed knights or anything, but they're more expendable. So if they get caught by the spearmen or the spear militia, it should not be too bad. Uh, you guys are now should be on fire at will, so I want you to fire at the spearmen if possible. Here we go. Let's see how good this charge is. Probably not very good, but uh, okay. Might make them turn and run away, but yeah, they, they've got caught, which is the uh, the tough thing. So let's get out of there ASAP. I want to ideally engage this whole block and then charge them in the back, which is going to be relatively difficult, but I think we can do a good job of it. Uh, but yeah, there we go with those guys. Uh, let's keep on firing at the spearmen and let's keep grinding them down. So what I'm doing now is just basically using the cavalry militia to just hold these guys, while I try to get these guys through the middle and charge them in the back, we are losing very heavily our guys here. So we're going to have to send our men up. If you guys wouldn't mind charging through, that'd be excellent. That would be good. But I don't think they're going to. I think they're getting caught a little bit too much. But here we go. They're still exhausted, these guys, which is not ideal. So there we go. Go for the charge. Let's have a look at that. Not the greatest of charges, of course, because we don't re didn't really manage to get much off. But it's still actually done quite a decent job there. Come on, guys. Go, go, go. Go. And these guys can just, you know, the spearmen obviously are going to kill them quite quickly. But if we can kill their general, uh, we win this. So, guys, go. Just, like, literally just go. Go, 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 go. There we go. Get away from them. Now charge them. And now we just squish them with our cavalry, I think, is the option here. So, yeah, there we go. Seven men. Seven men. Should be, shouldn't be be too good against cavalry as well because, of course, they don't have spears. So that's good for us. Right, you guys can now get out of there. Try and bait them off. You did a good job of holding them off for the, the last second. There we go. Glorious. Glorious, glorious. We're getting shot by some... Oh, it's these guys. I thought there was a tower or something <laughs> that was shooting us. But there goes the general... Deaded, 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 my friends. Very nice indeed. Glorious. Let's kill him. Come on, guys. No, 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 no. You guys stay there. 
That's your job. Stay there. These guys kill the general. God's sake. <laughs> kill this fool. Kill this fool. Let's go. Let's go. And then we should be able to beat the rest with our infantry. Pretty darn damaged armies now, but that's fine. We can go back for retraining, can't we? Is he? There he is. He's dead again. Right. Fantastic. Let's go. Uh, and let's get these guys up here as well. Let's go, guys. Come on. Uh, and let's see if we can uh, see if we can uh, hold them for a second. Uh, and the cavalry, let's get you all over there. You guys, let's get here too. Just go, 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 go quick, go quick, Cav. And the cavalry's just fresh and warmed up, like they're not even tired. So that's excellent for us. Uh, keep firing, and let's see what we can do here now. Ideally, I want them to engage us. If we can engage them around like this side. Go, guys, go. I don't, it's fine if you want to just march. There we go. Oh, are we crashing again? No, 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 we didn't. Good, 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 good. Right, that's glorious. Right, let's end that there. I don't think it likes times six speed. I think that's one thing that I've learned. Don't go on time six speed. <laughs> right, keep coming. Keep coming, guys. Keep coming. Brutal battle. Brutal battle, but a good one nonetheless. Come on. Let's see what we can do here. Bang. The urban spear militia should pretty much die. Should die very quickly to everyone. There we go. Not the greatest of charges, though, was it? So get out. Go, go, go. Cycling the charges is normally good. Not when it's chaos like this, though. That's the problem. So let's just get get here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get them all set up properly. So they'll hopefully all charge about the same time. There we go. Get in there. Get in there, guys. And what they're down to. 27 men. Should be nice and easy to kill. Ah, oh, goddammit. I've pressed, I've pressed attack. So there we go. Go the blob. The blob. The cavalry blob. <laughs> the cavalry blob. Let's go. Cavalry blob attack. Let's go, my friends. Let's go. Bang. Not, not the charge we wanted or deserved. But uh, no, maybe the charge we did deserve, to be fair. <laughs> but that's nice and easy. Absolutely shredding these guys now. So once they're dead, let's go times two. I think it can handle times two. And let's go. Just kill all of these guys now. Should be nice and quick and easy. There we go. I don't mind the cavalry fighting these guys when they're down to so few men. I don't think it makes that much difference. So there we go. Fantastic victory, my friends. Glorious, glorious, glorious victory. 327 versus 848. What a victory. The Sergeant Spearman, 160 kills there. How did the Knights do? Yeah, the Knights really struggled in that fight. But nonetheless, another victory, my friends. There we go. And Kona is ours. Glorious. Let's occupy as well. Not the richest of settlements. But 1,600 is definitely not anything to sniff at. Very nice. Indeed. Fantastic. Well, glorious. Well, I think we should probably send these guys back for retraining. What I might leave is these two urban spear militia in there. Ooh. No, we can't do that. We cannot do that. How about one of the levy crossbowmen? We've got another levy crossbowmen. 70%. Hmm. It's 70% right now. What does the Leather Tanner do? Just some extra gold. Hmm. Ideally, these guys need to go back and train. Can we leave Bologna with one of these? We can. Just about. So I think that's going to be okay. Not the best happiness, but not awful at the same time. We've just got to be quite wary now, because if we do get attacked by Pisa, we're in a pretty darn weak position, aren't we, my friends? So, yeah... Let's also get you. Let's see. We're still 87% Catholic. How about down here? 90%. How about Zara? 84%. That's fine. Well, I think we're going to end it there, though, guys. Glorious first episode. We've taken three extra settlements. We had some monetary issues at the start, which, you know, is probably likely. There's going to be a few errors from me. Any comments down below, do let me know your tips and tricks for this mod. That'd be fantastic. And if you did enjoy, guys, a like and a subscribe, like I said earlier, would be massively appreciated. But thank you very much for watching, guys. It's been a pleasure, as always. And I will see you all again on the next video.